Welcome to TSAT. Today I am going to discuss about cloud computing. So, why cloud computing is so important in this era? Where cloud co cloud computing is considered as one of the important emerging technologies. Cloud computing is responsible for the development of economies. Cloud computing is responsible for the development of MNCs. Cloud computing is responsible for the development of industries. So, there is a, a huge application of this technology. So, before uh, getting into this content of cloud computing, we need to know what a cloud is. A cloud is a hardware containing high configuration of storage capability and analytical capability. This hardware or a cloud which can be placed at any place on the earth. So, this cloud computing, in this cloud computing, to connect to the cloud, because it has got a huge data which is essential to you, you, everybody, everyone on the surface of the earth can connect to the cloud. So, here in this process to access the data in the cloud or to process the data in the cloud, how do you connect to this cloud? So, uh, many people across the world can connect the cloud through internet. So, to connect to the cloud through internet, you require a certain kind of a hardware and a communication channel. For example, with your computer system or a laptop or a cell phone is a hardware. This hardware laptop or a cell phone or a system is a hardware. To access to the cloud, you need to have a compatible software. Compatible software like Google or Android or iOS or different variant types of software need to be loaded into the need to be loaded into the hardware and you need to connect to the cloud with the help of internet. So, to connect to the cloud apart from having the hardware and software within your system, there must be a internet connectivity which provides the signal, the signal is being provided by the signal pro service provider. So, the signal service provider might be Airtel or Geo or any other service provider. In this context, what happens is the, the satellites or the gateway cables which are connected through optic fibers which are connecting the continents passing through the oceans, a large gateway cables made up of optic fibers connect the different continents. So, either of these ways, either you can connect the cloud through the satellite or you can connect the cloud through the gateway cables running across the oceans connecting the continents with optic fibers. So, what is happening here is in this process of connectivity, you can make the organization systems to function well or you make transactions better. So, when the number of transactions are being more at any time possible 24 by 7, the profit making ratio when the circulation of money frequency increases, the profit making ratio of an organization increases and automatically development happens. So, because of cloud computing what happens is a company or an organization can have many number of branches across the world having a lot of uh, coordination between branches with exchange of ideas and coordination is possible with cloud computing because connectivity between different branches is being made possible easily with a shared pool of resources. So, what is it? What am I talking with you? You will be able to understand better when I discuss with you topic by topic in this. In the case of cloud computing, see this. Cloud computing is information technology paradigm means a model, a model of uh, enabling ubiquitous access means which where you have got access, where you have got access from any place possible. So, with your cell phone you can access a data from on a road or from your home or from your classroom. You can work from home, you can work from office or at, a, at any place possible. So, Ubiquitous access means you have got the choice to connect to the cloud at any place possible. Uh, access enabling ubiquitous access to shared pool of configurable resources such as computer networks. So, 
the shared pool the cloud can be shared between different individuals for their advantage a computer networks for this you require computer networks servers storage applications and services so you need to have a cloud you need to have a storage you need to have a network you, your network can be a internet network like airtel or jio or etc are interconnecting the device you have within your hand the cell phone or the laptop and connecting to the cloud elsewhere which is a hardware where you have got abundant data storage and analytic capability are interconnected through a channel of communication supported by signal towers uh, supported by signal towers optic fibers uh, main data cables or uh, satellites these are essential for connecting the devices you have got and the cloud you have got making things to happen better so the main reason for the success of uh, mnc's uh, because of cloud computing is uh, with the help of cloud computing you can with the help of cloud computing you can control financial resources you can control material resources you can control human resources when the material resources and the financial resources when the human resources are being appropriated in a right manner with the proper management across the globe the profit making nature of a company increases when relatively compared with the input cost and the production the proportionate input cost reduces and the profit making capacity of a company increases because cloud computing makes you accountable in terms of using of uh, resources in terms of uh, material or human or financial resources for example for example take the case of uh, take the case of uh, any kind of uh, financial resources for example you are buying some goods uh, from a shop what happens is uh, you use a qr code to scan in this process what happens is the amount is exactly transacted uh, to the shopkeeper or you wanted to pay your uh, uh, power bill or you want to to pay your any municipal bill or tax bills or etc what is happening previously you need to go to the municipal office or somewhere else and you need to stand in line and you need to pay the bill there is huge waste of wastage of time money and energy but now just by transferring it uh, with the help of uh, uh, electronic transfer you are able to transfer the amount to a concerned uh, respective account so that what is happening there is in time payment happening with the accuracy uh, saving energy and time so because of this reason what is happening is transactions are becoming very convenient for example in the case of banking or in the case of educational institutions or in the case of hospitals so what happens in the case of banking a bank has got a huge amount of uh, uh, customers all the customers will be transacting uh, in the same time in this process of uh, transacting uh, the same time what happens is uh, manually maintaining the led ledger becomes a lo lot of problem so with the help of cloud computing what happens is all the systems your cell phone contains an application of which shows the ledger of the transaction of your account connected to the bank cloud so that what happens is your money can be transferred to any shopkeeper you like by using a code so that the ledger is being maintained where in which you believe in the transactions are being made comfortable with the help of connectivity of hardware software connectivity and the cloud making the transactions better so automatically when the number of transactions increases development increases so in the case of uh, government offices or any kind of private offices when you are using biometrics the biometric which is connected to the head office through internet will be able to uh, con will be able to control the human resource which is being used in a right way or not attending the office in time or not can be commanded effectively by the administrator in the presence of uh, with the help of uh, cloud computing with the help of biometrics so these biometric machine is been connected throughout uh, so that uh, administration becomes easy because who is not attending the work can be easily identified the money transferred can be made exactly to the 
required person through account transfer. If money is being sent through uh, hard currency we, in a liquid state in uh, currency, what happens is there is probability of uh, misappropriation. But when the, there is a virtual money being transferred directly into the account, uh, the misappropriation of resource can be avoided to a large extent so that uh, management production becomes very easy. So, that is the main advantage with cloud computing. It helps in controlling the resources in a better appropriated manner. A model for enabling ubiquitous access to shared pool of configurable resources such as computer networks, servers, storage, applications and services which can be rapidly provisioned with minimal management effort often over the internet. So, this kind of activity requires an interconnectivity through internet. So, to make this happen, we require certain arrangement. So, what are these arrangements which we require as I have discussed with you, software as a service. There must be a kind of software in your system like Windows or Android or I iOS, infrastructure as a service. For example, you need to have an infrastructure like signal towers, modems, etcetera, these kind of infrastructure you need to have. Apart from this, you need to have certain hardware like cell phones, laptops. So, Without these kind of uh, arrangement of hardware and software, cloud computing is not possible. So, cloud computing channel is being connected with the help of this hardware and software. From the cloud to the hardware you have got in terms of laptop uh, etcetera are been interconnected through modems and signal towers through service provider signal like Jio or Airtel. So, here this is the arrangement here. You have a cloud, this cloud is connected to your home, to the offices, through the internet connectivity, making the phenomena happen. You can transfer the account with, without going to the bank. You can book a cab without roaming around the roads. The cab comes to your doorstep. You can book a, a doctor appointment from your home. You can have a video conferencing, get diagnosed by the doctor. This is being made possible with cloud computing. So, why cloud computing? What are the what are the different advantages you have got with the cloud computing? In the case of cloud computing, the advantages you have got is a uh, 24 by 7 support. So, at any point of time, services are provided are provided to you. For example, uh, if you wanted to book a car, at any point of time you can book it and the car gets to your doorstep. If you wanted to have some food material, you can uh, book. Uh, any food parcel with the help of cloud computing, the service providers you have got where food is being door delivered to you with the help of cloud computing, with the help of uh, applications, uh, device uh, uh, independent here. So, here uh, device and location independent here impi implies that uh, you can work from the home and you can work from the office. At any place, you have got the choice to move and work from at anywhere possible. Because of this reason, what is happening? Many you can uh, recruit many number of employees with minimum infrastructure so that you are maximizing the profit. When many number of people are a uh, field to take part in the work because they have got the freedom to work from home or office at a, any place they like. Uh, that is one of the main advantages with cloud computing because they can be connected to the cloud. So, uh, e easy and uh, agile uh, development. So, what happens is just you can develop an app and download this. This development and downloading of app will help in connecting to the cloud and you can do your work effectively. Highly autom automated. So, in the case of highly automated uh, nature is considered. For example, when you are debiting and crediting amount, nobody is maintaining the ledger. Automatically, the system maintains the ledger. So, where which is immutable means which cannot be altered easily. That is the reason why it is considered as highly automated. Frees up uh, internal resources. So, what do you mean by freeing up internal resources? Cloud computing has got the capability to connect to different uh, branches of the company, uh, uh, different branches of the company, so that they can use the resources in terms of human resources. Uh, in terms of office, in terms of an area as a material resource. So, when a company has got different branches across the world, 
having employees, few of the employees not working around uh, on the bench for about uh, uh, 20, 30 employees or 100 employees in each and every branch across the world. Uh, in this context, what happens is, if you want to make uh, all these employees to be recruited in a single project, which is new to you, you need not recruit new employees. With the help of cloud, you can make these employees coordinate together to function for a single cloud without recruiting new employees existing in different countries without taking uh, uh, building rent uh, again. A new building is not uh, taken as a rent. So that what happens is you need not pay salaries for new employees. You need not pay rent for a new building. Without that, with the existing uh, resources, you are able to make uh, a new project done. So with free up resources is that making the resources uh, useful which is minimally distributed in all the branches across the world can be put together, coordinated and can make a new project run. So, the same resources existing will be helpful for increasing the output of a company that is what freeing up resources is. Lower capital expenditure. So, when this has got the capacity of coordinating things, what is happening is uh, the capital expenditure, the capital expenditure can be minimized. That is one other, other uh, advantage here in the case of uh, cloud computing. It is reliable, reliable here in the sense you can believe on that because nobody can alter the ledger of your account or, or disturbing your system is not possible because even though somebody enters, hacks your system with the help of IP address, we can identify where the fraud has hap happened with the help of uh, cloud computing. And the other advantage is you have got lower TCO. So, total cost of ownership because of all the advantages you have got will be reducing because with this uh, you are increasing the profit making ratio. So, when a question is being asked, what is meant by cloud computing? and what are the advantages of cloud computing or what are the different applications of cloud computing. If this is a question, this is a session discussion which I have made with you will be the answer for what is cloud computing and what are the different advantages and application of cloud computing are. So, cloud computing allows users and entrepreneurs and various com computing capabilities to store and process data in a privately owned cloud or by third party server. So, what is happening? You have got a public cloud and a private cloud. In the for example, Google is a public cloud where everybody has got the choice to connect to the public cloud. But in the case of private cloud, everybody does not have the choice to contact to the private cloud because you require a permission to get access to the private cloud by a company. For example, if you are an account holder of a bank, you only allowed to access the cloud. Every individual will not be allowed to access the cloud. So that you can provide security by not allowing the unauthorized person to intrude into the cloud. So for example, you have got a, a private I mean, say a, com a, a software company like TCS, which has got a branches across the world will have a common cloud of its own and it will only give access for its employees to connect so that work becomes very easy and it has got security because everybody is not allowed to get access. So, these are the different uh, advantages of uh, cloud computing. This is helpful in uh, uh, economies of scale. Economies of scale means the total input cost uh, is being reduced and the profit making ratio increases because the same resources can be used for different purposes by coordinating together, interconnected together both in terms of material resource and uh, human resource. Cloud computing allows enterprises to get their applications run faster and improve uh, and improved manageability, less maintenance and can rapidly adjust resource to meet fluctuating and unpredictable business demand. So, for example, if a company gets more projects, uh, what happens is uh, it can uh, have a cloud which has got certain data and configuration 
when there are more projects you require more cloud configuration so you can take rent a part of the cloud can be taken as a rent so which is being maintained by some other person so when you have more projects you can take more configuration of the cloud when you have got less projects you can you can take only a lesser configuration of the cloud and you are going to pay rent only to the configuration which you are using so that what happens is the amount of investment cost can be reduced so based upon the unpredictable demand you can increase the configuration required and you can decrease the configuration required means scaling up and scaling down the resources can be done with the help of cloud computing so your profit ratio will be increasing so here in the next topic is considered this cloud computing or all the transactions uh, in the cloud is be done with the help of internet of things so what do you mean by internet of things internet of things is a system of uh, interrelated computing devices or ob objects which have the ability to transfer the data over an inter over a network without requiring any human to human or human to computer interaction uh, unique uh, uniquely addressable based upon standard communication protocol so what is happening internet of things is you have got different kinds of gadgets across the world you have got cell phones you have got washing machines you have got air conditions you have got atms automobiles so in future we will be having uh, cars without drivers and you will not have a driver seat in the car in future because the car is been guided navigated with the help of uh, cloud so in this process navigation happens so you can uh, with the help of internet of things you can uh, make uh, your work ease by connecting to different activities with the help of devices through internet so what are they let us examine iot platforms are used to gather the pinpointed information detect patterns so these are uh, this can be done with the help of internet of things thus with the above process the internet of things helps the organization and institutions in reducing the cost through improved process efficiency assured utilization and productivity so what is happening here because of this internet of things you are able to connect uh, uh, different organizations different systems together and bring in coordination effectively with the help of internet of things so the internet of things uh, this has got uh, different synonymous words so what are the different synonymous words this internet of things has got the different synonymous words the internet of things has got is smart planet machine to machine uh, communication so machine to machine communication uh, the fog tensors the industrial internet industry 4.0 internet of things these are all the different kinds of synonymous words uh, which are used in as uh, synonymous words for internet of things so the basic thing in the internet of things is you have certain devices and systems and connectivity with the help of a software where you are able to control systems across the globe for your advantage which is known as internet of things a classic example for example you wanted to book a car now you need to you need not go out and search for a car just you can download the app and uh, book a car the car comes to your doorstep is an example of internet of things you can transfer the money from your uh, account to your friend accounts or parents accounts uh, very easily without going to the bank is an example of internet of things for example nowadays you have got electronic doors where the door will recognize you so the door will not be opened to a stranger unless until you give the permission so you are protecting your home you are protecting protecting your resource with internet of things so artificial intelligence is required for uh, internet of things artificial intelligence is a condition where the logical making nature the logic making nature decision making nature is acquired to a machine uh, uh, so with this internet of things and artificial intelligence uh, you can make your things easy by connecting different uh, robotics together 
uh, internet of things make work easy reasons for reasons of iot data deluge so what is happening there is huge amount of data available so what is essential to you is much more important so so what you need to do is you must be able to edit the essential amount of data in the huge uh, cloud so in this context uh, what you are doing is with the help of using certain data and certain keywords you can extract the data which is required to you from the huge uh, ocean of uh, information by using keywords so this is this can be done with the help of internet of things by certain connectivity certain uh, devices hardware and software whatever is essential data can be edited easily for your advantage so getting the information out of the huge ocean of information with the help of these connectivity systems through hardware and software can also be given as as an example of internet of things there is there is decrease in energy required to operate uh, in intelligent devices to search the search will be for a zero level of entropy so what is happening here entropy is a condition where the energy being consumed by a system in its processing is an entropy so in this process for example uh, you, when you are searching for a car roaming around the roads uh, the energy consumed uh, when you relatively compare with when you are booking a car the amount of energy consumed uh, by sitting in your home you are booking a car the amount of energy consumed is very less so when you need to go to the bank and do the transaction now you will be sitting at your home and you will be doing transactions time and energy been consumed so the processing energy essential is been minimized with the help of internet of things so entropy means the energy essential for the maintenance of the system is been minimized because of the internet of things so with the help of internet of things uh, autonomic management is possible so autonomic management is uh, the, the machines will be able to run by themselves with the help of uh, robotics so the robotics can be interconnected with the help of software and they can automatically do certain uh, range of work which you have defined in in advance so that it makes your work very easy with the help of internet of things through interconnection the device system of future will help self management self healing and self configuration capabilities so in future you will be able to have cars with the help of internet of things a driverless car when you are going to the office you can sleep in the car the car will be driving uh, for you to the office they are been connected through the internet the navigation is been provided through gps or navigation system so that what is happening is you are taking rest your energy to drive the car is not wasted so that you can effectively work in the office with the help of internet of things so this is another application uh, which we are about to experience in future with uh, driverless cars with the help of internet of things so internet of things enables these aspects reduces the amount of energy consumption they are intelligent uh, helps in better communication across the world interaction you are able to interact with anybody possible without uh, physical movement you have you can have a video conferencing so that uh, the time consumed to travel uh, the fuel been consumed the energy been wasted uh, uh, the stress you have undergone can be reduced with the help of internet of things uh, with just direct two way video conferencing to have a meeting to make a decision in administration integration you can integrate different uh, subordinates and su uh, superiors together for an effective decision making with the help of integration so interoperability so you can operate uh, between uh, systems you can on your air condition before you reach your home to make your room chilled uh, this is another application standards to follow all these uh, you need to maintain certain standard of protocol which is been followed so that a quality is been maintained because of internet of things so these are the range of applications so a uh, wearables when you are wearing some electronic system like a smart watch which will be able to read your uh, uh, physiology performance blood pressure uh, pulse rate oxygen percentage the menstrual cycle condition can be read by a machine to give you information about your health so these are all the the driverless cars in future in future where they will be able to drive themselves uh, to the destiny the smart connectivity 
for example, the amount of voltage required during nighttime and daytime in the street lights can be controlled automatically to save uh, power. So, all these are interconnected. You can book tickets for transportation in train or in different regions can be done very easily with these internet of things. So, these are all the different applications of uh, internet of things for uh, a better development and uh, convenience. Thank you friends. Let us meet in the next episode.